Hey everyone, it's Julia here from Money Energy Flow. I was just trying to adjust the camera there to um, get it up to height. Hope you're having a great week and a great day. So I'm hopping in, I'm a little bit casual today because I'm actually packing to go overseas in less than a week. This time in a week, I'll be on a plane to Cambodia. So I thought I'd drop in because the topic of manifesting has been coming up still and I had a great chat with a client yesterday regarding some of the things that we touched on in the last video and if you haven't seen that just check it out it's on the feed from last week and what came up in our session was that she's a very successful businesswoman by the way and she's wanting to go the next step in her business and in her life and I said to her there's a point in manifesting where you have to hold the feeling space of where it is you want to go next regardless of whether there's evidence for it in the outer world it's almost like you have to hold that feeling space despite there not being evidence for it yet it's only yet so what it is is we're creating the landscape in our inner world first we're creating the landscape where that is possible not only possible where that has actually happened and then that flows through to the outer world. But to begin with, that landscape is only in the inner world because if you look around, there's no evidence for it yet. And this is what the, the, the trap is for a lot of people. Our society, our education conditions us to look for evidence in the outer world. And when we don't see that evidence of something that we want or we're creating, we actually think that we failed or that we're not going to get it and that's not true at all it's just that it hasn't gone through the necessary gestation period inside uh, like anyone who's had a child you don't just get a baby overnight it takes nine months of growth and I'm not saying that's the case with every project but there is a growth or gestation period where you have to hold that energy inside and then it's born and then it comes out into your outer world so I thought I'd just share that and you know something that happened to me recently was that I was introduced to some people at work through a client and it was very brief it was very friendly hi how are you this is such and such and off we went um, didn't really see that person or chat to those people again for um, it was very very brief but in that moment something happened I got a download that somehow I'm going to creatively work with these people in some kind of project or endeavor. Now there is no evidence for that yet, but I felt so sure about it and felt really aligned with me that I thought, okay, I'm just going to hold that feeling space inside and see what happens down the track. I'm just holding it as a cup of possibility and that's how it starts. So then something, you know, will flourish from that. But if I don't hold that space, then you know, those people are not going to get back in contact with me or I'm not going to want to get in contact with me. There's going to be no kind of mm, energy to it. So that's just an example that I had recently. And the other thing I wanted to uh, talk about today with regards to manifesting, and this is relevant to me too because I'm planning to go away in, in a week's time, is that when you have, when you are planning events or projects or big things, there is a lead up time to them and obviously we all know this for practical steps you know you've got to get stuff organized you've got to pack your suitcase all of that but there is a lead up time energetically and that is very very important okay so that means that like I was a bit worried for example because Cambodia you know I'm about to go it's imminent and I was thinking when's it going to click in when is my energy going to start to turn towards that and boom it happened yesterday so now I'm relieved but what, what I'm saying is there's a lead up time before big events, big things, where you have to turn your energy and your attention inwardly. You don't have to say it to everybody, but you just turn part of your focus towards that thing that's happening. And in a non, you don't have to be, oh, I want it to be like this. I want. In fact, I don't actually know what's going to happen there. I know vaguely the program and, and what we'll be doing, but it's very vague. I don't actually know how I'm going to feel there and what's going to happen, but that's okay. I'm just turning my awareness to the fact that I'm getting on a plane next week and holding that cup open. And so what that means is as I'm working through my day, going through my tasks, all of that, part of my awareness is now preparing and gestating for that future trip. 
So not only does it mean that you remember stuff that's on your checklist. Hi there, nice to see you. Write a comment so I know who you are. Um, so not only is it that you'll start to remember stuff, oh, I forgot to pack that, must pack that, must pack that, because part of your brain's now switched on to that thing in the future. But energetically, you're going to feel so much more prepared. So, you know, when I turn up at the airport next Wednesday morning, it's a very early start, uh, hopefully I'm not going to have this feeling of... Um, Oh my God, I feel so unprepared. I only thought about this yesterday. I'm not even psychologically ready to get on a plane to Cambodia. I'm not even, um, I'm not in the right energy space. Hopefully I'm not going to, hi Veronica. Great to have you on. Great to have you on. I'd love your comments about this because you know, we've had chats about manifesting as well. So yeah, I'm just saying that, for example, before a big trip or event or even something that is smaller but you are um, invested in and is important in your life turn your awareness to it in the days or weeks leading up to that and depending on how big an event it is it might only be like two days beforehand you turn your awareness or one day in my case because it's an overseas trip I'm glad my awareness went boom and switched on yesterday so now I've got a full week I had the, the suitcase I had stuff out there but I wasn't really engaged last week and I was thinking hmm when is it going to switch on? And I was checking in with myself and, and it's really important that it did and I'm glad that it did because now part of my being is almost, it's almost like already there, it's invested in being there. And when you can do that about important things in your life, when you can already have set up and paved the way for uh, your energy to flow there, that event or project or creative endeavor is going to feel so much more satisfying. You're not going to feel rushed. You're not going to feel like, oh my God, I'm behind the eight ball. I didn't think of this. I didn't think of that. Sure, there might be a few last minute things we always forget. But overall, you will be 98% there. So yeah, I'd like to invite you to think of that. What is something that is important to you or you really want to create in your life so number one hold that feeling space as if you've already got it hold that feeling space in your inner world now so treat it as a reality on the inside even though there may be no evidence for it in your outer world so that's very very important and then for things that have been planned and are scheduled and you know that they, they are upcoming turn your awareness and attention to them in the lead up beforehand whether it be a car trip to a meeting whether it be one or two days before a big event or a week out or even a month out for something really important in my fundraiser that was four months of work and basically the month leading up to it I had to have my awareness on it every day whether I was promoting or liaising with people or emailing and it might have only been 15 minutes a day it could have been two hours a day I had to have my awareness on it every day in order for that to work so think about that if you've got something coming up and um, yeah post your comments below I'd love to hear your feedback so this is manifesting part two and if any other questions come up or things come up in conversations with me I will certainly share it. Manifesting could become a series of many parts. So looking forward to staying in touch with you while I'm away. I will endeavour to do that. I don't know what the coverage is going to be like, but I will endeavour to do that. Uh, and next Wednesday morning is live will be from Melbourne Airport because um, I like to do my lives on a Wednesday morning and I will be waiting uh, for my plane at that time. So I'll see you then. Have a great week. Bye.